Look, we're delighted. It's the record purse bid. It's the highest grossing purses for two boxers ever to fight in the UK. It's brilliant and uh, it's very fitting that it's here at Wembley. It's very fitting that you've got Tyson Fury after four years coming home. So the fans are in for a massive treat. A massive treat. He's the best heavyweight of his generation. Lineal champion. He ticks all the boxes. I mean, who else could, could run a press conference on their own? Except Tyson Fury. He was brilliant. Talking of that, running the press conference on his own, Tyson Fury did a great job leading the way. What are your thoughts on Dylan White not showing up for the press conference today? Well, it's totally unprofessional. You know, he has a, it's industry practice for any time you announce a fight for the both the to persistence to be there. We start going down the road where people are not going to show it up. Who are you guys going to interview? How are we going to sell shows? Just doesn't work. We're lucky that it's Tyson who's such a large and alive character. But it's not the way forward. And and you know somebody asked me would I get into some sort of tip for tat with Matchroom, for example, if they were to win a purse bid. No, I wouldn't because it's not good for boxing. It's dreadful that, that, that anybody should even contemplate that. And it's ridiculous and outrageous that people, his legal uh, business advisor, it was telling us we can't even use his photograph on the poster. I've never heard anything like this in my life. And we agreed yesterday, just to make sure that it was here, to uh, lay a private jet on from between here and Portugal, get back on the same day. But, you know, started then making the other stupid demands, and enough was enough. Frank, without Dillian being here today, are you concerned at all about the pay-per-view boys for this fight? No, I'm not at all. No, look, we're gonna, you're going to get a feel for it tomorrow when the tickets go on sale. So let's see what we do tomorrow. Ticket last night, have our permission to say how many tickets they've sold tomorrow. I think they're going to do really well. This place is going to be set out at full capacity, and I expect every seat to be sold. In Frank, term, oh, Frank, where does this rank in the top UK British heavyweight fight that you've proved throughout your long, illustrious career? that I've played, well it's probably this is the most expensive one that's for sure so it's, it's that and it's a good fight you know I mean the last time I was at Wembley was when uh, Frank Bruno fought Olive McCall long before any of you lot were born I think but um, yeah it's a big fight it's a big big fight and I'm really thrilled and delighted to be doing it. In terms of the purse bid that you put forward obviously you said it was a record breaking purse bid obviously that indicates how important it was for you to host this fight. Yeah, yeah I mean we did and we, we, we you know we bid was it just under 10 million more than Matram who's who are with Dillian and you know all these complaints from Dillian if we hadn't made a bid he'd be getting two million less than we're putting than we're putting up so there's some upside keep using that word upside and on top of that he's got the potential of getting another four million on the uh, if he wins the fight that four million's lodged with the WBC so he's got everything to go for everything and it's a disgrace that he's not here and he's a disgrace not to be so in terms of the fact that obviously you put in this record breaking purse but Dillian's not showed up obviously do you feel that he's not showing up the social media blackout they are mind games on his part or does he just not want to be involved no, I don't think they're mind games I just think they're oh, you're a lady so I can't use the language I want to use I think they're just jerkers that's what they are why would you even do that you know that's like saying we, we want all this money but we want it to be a failure what planet are they on you know this is about boxing this is our this, this is our this, this is our world cup boxing's world cup you know Wembley this is we're here this should be about us all working together to make it a success you're getting eight million when do you ever had eight million you know his last fight lunch with a last person lunch with a WBC was 300 grand Frank, I just asked uh, some comments is uh, Dillian White's lawyer made about not getting complimentary tickets and not a guarantee. Look, can, I just, can I just say, this is what happens. WBC put that fight out for uh, negotiation. Made him the number one, put it out for negotiation. Neither side could agree, agree terms. So the next stage is purse bids. Purse bids is definitive. The winner gets it, you've got a standard contract, and you sign it. There's no more negotiations. That's why you go to purse bids. But we, we, they want to have a negotiation after we won the purse bid. And we did agree certain things. You know, complimentaries and whatever. He's getting eight million dollars. Go and buy some tickets at the eight million dollars. We've got to make this work. We're businessmen. We'll put this money up for a huge amount of money. And we're not getting any help. 
do me a favour. It's getting two million more than you would have got had it been on Matchroom Show. And what would your message be to Dillian White? Stop being a jerk and get get and do and be professional and do what you're supposed to do. Frank, um, Tyson, Dillian, and Eddie Hearn have made comments about the social media blackout. Tyson not being on social media is probably fine. Dillian not being fine. Eddie claiming that him not being involved is going to cost pay per views. How do you respond to that? Well, we would say that. Why does he keep worrying about weed? And he had his opportunity to win the fight. He didn't put a winning bid on. Get on with what he needs to do. Why does he keep worrying about always what other people shows up? He's always got something to say. You know, when we made Tyson against uh, Wilder in the States, he won't show up. He won't fight. It's not going to happen. It's all of his constant with him. It's all about him. We don't care. We, we, we put our money up. Good money. Record money. Biggest, heavy, biggest money for any two British heavyweights ever. That's what we put up. So, I don't know what the problem is. You know, Ty Tyson will promote this show. Of course he's going to promote it. What he asked for was a bit of a break, not from, from being pestered by some people, so he could focus on his training. Of course he's going to promote it. What's he doing today? He's here promoting it. Accommodating to everybody. And that's, that's how he is because he's a, he is larger than life. You know, he's the, he's the guy that makes it all work. He, that's the reason he's getting 80% of the purse. That's the reason his last fight he got paid $20 million because of who he is. Do you think Dillian will promote this fight in any capacity at any press conference during five weeks? Well, you know, look, you know what? Contracts work both ways. First of all, you know, we know what we can, what, what his obligations are. So there'll be something. We got obviously we're not going to be sitting down and letting that just happen. But it also works what we have to do. So no, he went, you know, two people play at that game. I'm not the one to be petty or stupid, all that one have a successful promotion. He wants to play that game, we play that game. Frank, um, of course we all know about the Taylor Catterall decision on the weekend. What are your thoughts on the scoring of the British Boxing Board of Control and what could be done to change this? Well, I think with, I, I generally think with these, with, with these, we've had a few of these now, they, people need to be accountable. If you're a football referee, you get demoted. If you're a premiership, premiership ref, referee, and you don't come up to scratch, they, they demote you down to the Champions League and so forth. And that should be the same with boxing. You should just be you know, oh, on to the next one. They need to do something about it. It's upsetting. You know, look, Josh Taylor is a, is a great fighter. I mean, he's magnificent what he's done. Really a good fighter. And Jack went into the lines then. I thought Jack won the fight. I thought the sum, I thought, you know, certainly one judge's score card was abysmal. Um, and Josh, to his credit, said that he'd give him a rematch, but not that way. So poor Jack's never going to fight for those four belts. That was his moment to do it. And went into the Lions' den to do it. And by the way, all those people who are trolling Josh Taylor, you're out of order. He's a great fighter. He's done brilliant for the British boxing stage. You mentioned that something should be done. What, in your opinion, should Demote be done? Them. Move them down. And do you think that Britain now has a poor global reputation in terms of I, I speak to people and they don't like it. Of course they don't. Like it. And we're making fights when they start having these arguments over officials and so forth. It's wrong. It shouldn't be that. This country used to be the place where you got the fairest shot. You know, it's fair. And that's how it should be. That's exactly how it should be. And it you, needs to be dealt with. You've mentioned that you don't want any British officials on the judging I panel. No, I don't. I don't want any. I don't, I don't want any of this. I want the best officials from around the world to, to officiate. For me, is a record-breaking fight. You know, we put our money up. And I'm no controversy on the night. And listen, we know that sometimes things are debatable. They're close fights. You can watch it one way or another. But I don't want no, nothing debatable. Tyson, by the way, says it won't be debatable because he's going to finish it with that. But the, but the facts of the matter is we don't need this in the sport. And, and the press for the last couple of days has been really negative about boxing. And this stuff don't happen, help either. When I mean, you've got somebody don't come and show up at the press conference. It's harming the sport. Frank, Frank, this being a mandatory fight, does Tyson have a rematch? No, no, it's no rematch. Please. And also, uh, would you make an answer, Joshua, backing uh, Dillian White to win this fight? Well, I'm sure that's what he wants, doesn't he? You know, he doesn't want to see Tyson out. He doesn't. He'd much rather fight Dillian White than fight Tyson. That's for sure. But that's his choice. That's his pick. We've got to do it. Very quickly, because I've got to do this. Do you believe that Dillian White wants to fight? Say it again? 
Do you believe that Dillian White wants to fight? Or he he wants eight million dollars. Of course, he wants to go, wants to go ahead, wouldn't it? Otherwise, he won't get two bob. I've got to do this.